Sexual abuse unreported inside a Chicago high school according to a lawsuit just filed. No one reported the behavior of a former Dunbar High School security guard currently serving an 8 year sentence for sexual assault. Our Tara Molina brings us these details from outside of the school. According to this lawsuit, school employees knew this school security guard's behavior was out of the ordinary and failed to report it. We want to warn you, the details in this suit may be disturbing. So I don't think he's going to get what he's lost back, but he's hoping to help others. He, the then 15 year old sexually abused inside his high school, referred to as John Doe in the lawsuit filed against Chicago schools. What we believe is he's told his attorneys he's not comfortable doing TV interviews in any capacity, instead sharing this statement, quote, the security guard told me I needed protection and that he would act as my secret service agent at Dunbar. He threatened me and said if I told anyone about the sexual assault and abuse, he would go to jail and I would lose my protection. According to this lawsuit, it all started back in 2021 with the student and 29 year old security guard Tywain Carter, who pleaded guilty to assaulting the student and abusing another Dunbar Vocational Career Academy student at the same time. According to the lawsuit, Carter would take the teen out of class consistently. Quote, taking DOE out of class to numerous locations within the school, where the lawsuit details graphic sexual assault. The meetings would last for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time. The suit claiming school employees failed to report those removals from class, with six Dunbar staff members named here, alleging they knew Carter's conduct violated CPS policies, but ignored it. We were According to these attorneys, John Doe and his family want to ensure more safeguards are in place so this can't happen again. They also want a response from CPS. Having CPS acknowledge that this happened and be apologetic uh, because to date with respect to the family they haven't done anything a spokesperson for cps responded to my list of questions with a statement they said they can't comment on pending litigation but of course student safety is their top priority you can read that statement in full in the story that's up on our website right now reporting outside dunbar vocational career academy i'm tara molina cbs news chicago Tara, thank you.